Okay, so like before, I was messing with this Scarlet CM25 from Focusrite. And I know that this is a good candidate for a bigger capsule, but so far, I haven't found the right one to really maximize on its sound. Well, Big Duck over on the Discord told me about this 34 millimeter electric capsule from JLI Electronics. I will put the description and model name in the section below. This is a big capsule. So we're going to glue that into the saddle, solder it, and see what we get. Going to be a short video, but I figured everyone would enjoy this because if this does work well, you can get a CM25 for about 25 bucks used. And the capsule is 21 and change, which there is like $9 shipping. So we're looking at about a $60 total build here if you buy a used CM25. Let's glue the capsule into the saddle. All right. Just a little bit of glue. I'm just using a Loctite vinyl fabric and plastic adhesive. And I just used way too much. That's okay, though. Now we just got to let that dry, which I am going to go ahead and do the soldering on it before we even let it dry, because I, I'm pretty sure I can tin those wires and get everything connected before um, without knocking it off. There's that. It's in the saddle. It's going to lean back just ever so slightly on there. Let's do some tinning. Luckily, these little soldering irons get hot really quick. So let's tin up the center for the hot wire. And then it's got a couple prongs. Pick your poison for the ground. Ground wire good to go. I want a little more on there than that. Now we're just going to need to let the glue dry because it's not really close. But once that is done, we will throw this thing back together and give it a test. While this is uh, drying, I'm going to do some extra plosive protection. I don't have the CM25 body. I actually have the uh, Florian BM800 body. The My CM25 the body was just horrible. So while this is drying here... We'll line this with some foam, get some extra protection. That's what she said. There's so many easy things you can do to give yourself a little extra, you know, plosive protection. Probably won't be perfect by any means, but it uh, it will help. <clears throat> this was just some foam lining out of a uh, out of a case, out of a wireless mic case. 
Wish I could get that little lip out of there, but that's okay. I think we can throw this back together. Head basket goes on first. That's tight. Now that was some slow insertion. Head baskets on nice and tight. Now let's put the body on. It doesn't get any easier than these BM 800 bodies. And honestly, like, I don't love the gold head basket, but I don't hate it either. Especially if it sounds good. Time for a test. A lot of people out there are paying 25 to $35 for the Neewers of the world, uh, for some of the lower end MXL mics. And those are okay. This is better, in my opinion. So if you're looking for a starter mic, go on Guitar Center, go on eBay, look up, a, just search CM25. It's what comes with the Focusrite Scarlet and iTrack Solo, which is what this came with. The iTrack Solo pack, which I think is why it's silver. The iTrack Solo is silver. The microphone's silver. But go grab this instead of a Neewer or a super cheap low-end MXL. I think you'll be happy with this. All right, so now we've got the microphone with the new capsule in, and this is what it sounds like. I did a test earlier with the Behringer UM2 in my office, and it sounded really bassy, fairly smooth, and uh, definitely good if you like that dark, you know, bassy sound, but still, still sounds well-rounded and full. Plosives are terrible. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Really bad. I don't like them. When you get right on top of the microphone, this is what it sounds like when you are right on top of the microphone. And let's do some off-axis rejection real quick. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 90 again, and back around to the front of the microphone. So this is it, man. This is the CM25 with the new 34 millimeter JLI capsule. Like I said, you should be able to accomplish this sound for about $60. And I think for that price, I mean, I, I'm a fan. I do believe I am a fan of this microphone with this capsule and the uh, BM 800 body, really easy to do. Super, super easy. Let me know what you think about the microphone in the comments down below. Sorry, there's no video of my beautiful, wait a minute. No, you're welcome that you don't have to look at my face in this part of the video. You are so welcome. Obscure Mics, another weird video from a weird place in a weird location with just random, I feel like doing this kind of video today. Thanks for watching Obscure Mics yet again. See you guys next time. Peace out.